Hi there, my name is Tara Schuler. I am the Executive Manager of ANADA, the International Network of Agencies for Health Technology Assessment. We are the global network of HTA agencies um, that provide evidence on technologies to health system decision makers around the world. Um, we use technology a lot in, in my work because we are an international network, so um, that virtual connectivity is essential to the functioning of our network. We can't always travel to see one another and to engage in meetings in person. Uh, so in my work, um, one of the products we use is, uh, of course, our website and things. So having a really robust website is really important to us, and there's always new things we can add and improve, so that's an area that is extremely important. Um, we also use like web uh, teleconferencing technologies. There's a few different brands that we've used and we found one that seems to work fairly well. Of course, they're not 100% solid. There's always um, some tweaks and issues, but that's a, a key one for us. And the main thing there is around the document sharing. So it's not just a teleconference. We don't use the video that much. Sometimes it's five in the morning for some of the people joining. Uh, so we don't use the video, but um, it's a document sharing, having slides, uh, the interactivity in the sense that you can see the people online and raising hands or, you know, a bit more interactive than a teleconference. Um, we do have a Twitter account. Uh, we don't do much social media though, um, partly because it's uh, a bit of a question mark for us. Uh, we're not an organization that is, um, you know, seeking lots and lots of members, individuals, sort of that broad, you know, public, uh, you know, communications or marketing. Um, but we do need to keep in touch with our members. So we're trying to find that right balance between uh, you know, value for money and value for time in social media. Like I said, we have Twitter, but it's more to receive, to be in touch. It's, it's the receiving of what our, uh, what other people are sharing on Twitter. That's kind yeah. of what we use. Uh, we do have items on our website. That's where it's also really important we have that organization. Um, we don't use Google Docs or anything like that. We use Dropbox because we have that international and sometimes we share folders and whatnot. finding effective ways to use the tools that are available that people are familiar with because if we do something that is sort of new, we're kind of the early adopters and we kind of have to be sure that our members are able to use it and whatnot so I guess there's sort of that learning curve. Um, but if it's the right tool, uh, I, yeah, I don't know, but I mean learning how to use Twitter effectively or um, uh, any kind of, uh, you know, email, um, there's different email distribution programs, MailChimp and things like that, so um, using those types of things effectively and making sure that they get into the inboxes or get where they're going and not stuck in spam or, you know, undeliverable things like that. A lot of our main work is in English, uh, although we do have subgroups in French and Spanish that, that do uh, connect. Uh, and of course a lot of the policy documents that we have are in the original language, they're not always available in English. Uh, so we do as much as we can there. Um, all of our meetings and things are generally in English. We use, um, you know, Google Translate is great. Uh, it's not perfect, but I think it's really neat free resource that people can use and, and I use as well sometimes. Um, time zones, uh, we have uh, timeanddate.com at the Secretariat, that's the tool that I always use, timeanddate.com, because you can, uh, you know, search all the time zones, it's automatically updated for daylight savings, etc., and I, I trust it, and you can put in the cities and stuff. If I was to design one myself, I might design it a little bit differently. For example, saving a page with your preset country so you don't have to enter them in all the time. You know, having a bit of a customized uh, date and time service would be excellent. Anything that can help us um, do our work better, we're looking for, um, but there's the threshold, right? The learning threshold and, you know, you're dealing with different platforms, you're dealing with different internet connectivity sometimes. We have members in Africa and Latin America sometimes where there's just not that speeds that we're used to in North America and Europe, for example. Um, yeah, so we're, any kind of new tools you have coming, that would be wonderful. It's just amazing what we can do these days with the internet, and uh, Inada wouldn't be able to exist. Uh, it was formed in 1993, so I think that was pre-internet, uh, pre-everything, so it was very uh, pen and paper and e letter mail even. I think email hadn't even really started, so it's amazing to see us now and just business in general globally, what's possible with email and internet. Um, and 
you know, they're just encourage Microtech and other companies to develop new tools because we don't know what's possible. It's hard for me to answer some of these questions because I don't know uh, what's possible and it's really exciting, um, you know, with the, the platforms that we have and what's possible to go from there.